Okay, today we study how to compute yield to maturity for coupon bonds, and I think it's good idea to start with a simple numerical example before seeing the definition. So consider the following coupon bond with face value 100 pounds and the time to maturity 3 years. The coupon rate is 2% and the coupon payment is once a year. Suppose the current price of this bond is 98 pounds. With this bond, after one year you will receive £2 coupon and after two years you will receive another £2 coupon and at the end of the third year you will receive £2 coupon and £100 face value. So at the end of the third year you will receive £102 and the current price of such a bond in the market is £98 today. Now suppose your friend asks you, what is the interest rate implied by the price of this bond? Your appropriate answer would be, what do you mean? Do you mean one-year interest rate or a two-year interest rate or a three-year interest rate? You know, interest rate depends on how long you borrow. That's what we studied when we learned how to compute yield curve or the term structure of interest rates from bond prices. There we studied that most of the time it is the case that the longer the time to maturity is, the higher the annual interest rate is, so that the term structure of interest rate is upward sloping in terms of time to maturity. Of course, sometimes the term structure of interest rate is downward sloping or inverted, or sometimes U-shaped or hump-shaped, or sometimes flat, but the whole point was that the interest rate to borrow for one year and the interest rate to borrow for two years and the interest rate to borrow for three years can be all different. Now you ask me what the interest rate implied by the price of this particular coupon bond, but I'm afraid that I cannot possibly compute all interest rates just from the price information of this particular coupon bond. Now your friend says, OK, OK, fine. Then what if the term structure of interest rates were completely flat? Or well, in other words, interest rates are the same regardless of the time to maturity. Now you say, well, that will make things easy. I can put up the following equation. Today's price of the coupon bond is £98, and this is equal to £2 coupon discounted by one year interest rate plus another two pound coupon discounted by the two year interest rate to the power two plus 102 pounds discounted by the three year interest rate to the power three. If the interest rates are all the same, then I have one equation for just one unknown and I can solve it if I use Microsoft Excel solver and I can give you the interest rate, the interest rate, not 0.027, 2.7%. That is the interest rate. Okay? That will give the definition of yield to maturity. So the definition of yield to maturity is the answer to the following question. If the yield curve or the term structure of interest rates of the firm or government that issues that bond were flat, what would the level of the yield curve be according to the current price of the bond? So basically you establish an equation that equates the current price of the coupon bond and the sum of discounted value of future payoffs, acting as if the interest rates were all the same. If you compute the solution, it is called the yield to maturity of that coupon bond. Now, why are investors interested in yield to maturity of coupon bond? Well, when investors compare prices of different bonds, they often compare yield to maturity rather than comparing prices themselves. So suppose you face a variety of different bonds and you want to compare them, wanting to know which one is relatively cheap and which one is relatively expensive. If you just compare prices, that's not very informative because prices really depend on time to maturity and coupon rate. If it is a bond with a very long maturity, then it should be cheap. If a bond has very high coupon rate, then of course it should be expensive. But if you convert all the prices of coupon bonds into yield to maturities, then the comparison becomes a little bit more informative. 
Let's look at the bond page. So I took this page from the online Wall Street Journal and the date is 4th of October 2013 and it shows some samples of US Treasury bonds. These are maturities, so there is one month bond, three months, six months, one year, two years, three years, five years, seven years, ten years, and twenty, year, uh, 20 years, no, thirty years. And these are, some of, some of them have coupons. So coupon rates are, for example, 0.25%, 0.8%, 1.3%, 2%, 2.5%, 3.6%. And they are the current prices. Now, as a matter of course, without coupons, one month bond is more expensive than one year bond. Because with one month bond, you have only to wait one month to get $100. Here, the three year coupon bond is more expensive than the two year coupon bond because it has higher coupon rate. See, comparing prices is difficult. As an investor, you want to find a good deal. You want to find a good bargain. But comparing prices is difficult because these bonds have so much different maturities and coupon rates. And for that reason, some investors prefer comparing yield to maturity rather than comparing prices because yield to maturity already takes maturity and coupon rate into account. And in terms of yield to maturity, this 3-year bond is a better deal than this 2-year bond. But it doesn't mean that all investors must like this 3-year bond better than this 2-year bond. After all, these two bonds are completely different bonds. People can have different preferences over two different computers or two different automobiles. Similarly, investors can have different preferences over two different bonds. Yield to maturity is merely a measure or indicator to compare two different bonds. Let's look at an exercise. Calculate the yield to maturity of the following coupon bond. Face value 100 pounds, time to maturity 2 years, and the coupon rate is 8% and the coupon payment is once a year. The current price is 104 pounds. By the way, I think I forgot to say one thing. For zero coupon bonds, Yield to maturity is just the yield or the implied interest rate we studied in the past. So in one of the past classes, we studied how to compute the yield or implied interest rate of zero coupon bonds. For zero coupon bonds, yield to maturity is just that. But if it is a coupon bond, even if it's just two-year bond, to compute the yield to maturity, you have to follow that formula. This is the formula. In one year, you will receive £8 coupon and in two years, you will receive £100 face value plus £8 coupon. You discount them with the same yield, Y, and the discount to total value should be equal to the current price, 104 this reduces to a quadratic equation. So if you remember this formula for the quadratic equation, you can solve it without an Excel solver, and the solution is 0.0567. So 5.67% is the yield to maturity of this coupon bond.